how to get started with crochet. And I'll talk to you about the basic tools you'll need to start crocheting. What are those basic things that you're going to need to just start crocheting? The first thing, of course, is going to be your crochet hook. Okay, there's a lot of different sizes a crochet hook can come in. Here are two examples of different size crochet hooks. One here, you can see the pink one is a 10 millimeter, and then this yellow one's a two millimeter, and you can see how different the heads are on those crochet hooks. Typically with worsted weight yarn, it's gonna be about a five millimeter crochet hook. With DK weight, it's gonna be probably a four millimeter. So when you're starting off, I would recommend that you go with a five. And that's because the cheapest yarn you can buy is most likely worsted weight, um, and that requires a five millimeter crochet hook. So I would recommend a five if you're just starting off and wanna just test it out and see if you like it. Now the next item that you will need to crochet is yarn. There you go, this is a DK weight yarn that I got from Joann's. Now you can get yarn anywhere, there's websites, there's different stores like Joann's or Michael's. If you're just starting out and you're just gonna test it out to see if you like it or not, I would just ask somebody that you know that might have some yarn and ask them if they wouldn't mind giving you maybe a small scrap ball of yarn like this, the WANs. Maybe they have discount yarn and you can just try something out and just get a size four or a worsted weight yarn along with your five millimeter crochet hook. So those are the, really the two things that you have to have to crochet. Other items that could come in handy as you're crocheting is a stitch marker, okay? A stitch marker kind of looks like a safety pin, but a little bit different. It's not metal, it's made of plastic, and it just clips in and out like that. The purpose of a stitch marker is to mark where you are on your crochet project. So, for example, on this item here, let's say I wanted to mark the start of my round, I would just put this in the very first stitch and it's marked and then when I come back around I would take it off and move it to the next row as I go around or on the rounds I would just mark it on the very first stitch of the next round. The other reason a stitch marker is nice is because it kind of holds your project in place so if I needed to step away from this project for a day or two or hours and I didn't want my project to come unraveled I would just use a stitch marker put it in the yarn there and voila now if this piece gets pulled I'm not going to lose the progress I made because the stitch marker is keeping it from unraveling. Really if you don't want to go buy it because you're not sure if you're going to need it you could use a paper clip, you could use a piece of scrap yarn to mark your place on a project. There's a lot of different options. Um, a piece of differently colored string for example other things that you could use while you're crocheting is darning needles. Okay, these are two different types. One's plastic and it's straight. The other one's made of metal and you can see it has a bent tip darning needle. And then it's got a big eye to put your yarn through. So those are helpful for weaving in ends or to sewing parts together, especially like in amigurumi projects. Okay, and the last thing you're gonna need is scissors or some way to cut your yarn. Uh, I also have a measuring tape. This is for as inches and centimeters. And that's not necessary, I would say, but I use it sometimes when I make garments and I need to measure how long it is to make sure it's gonna fit the person I'm making it for. So there you have it. The basic tools that you need to get started with crocheting today. Again, I would recommend three items right now. That would be your crochet hook, a five millimeter, your yarn, worsted weight, or four ply. Uh, you can get cheap at any hobby type store, craft store, and something that you can use as a stitch marker or a way to mark your place in your project. And that is all I have. Thank you for watching.